hi guys welcome and welcome back to my channel in case you're new here my name is hilda wambogo and uh this platform over here is all about mental health self-care a lot of self-care along the way i will introduce you to my family and also introduce you to what i do every day and all that so it's around 6 15 a.m and uh guess where we guess where i'm waking up from from nyali yesterday we traveled for those who've watched uh a post that i posted today morning we traveled to mombasa and uh yeah we wanted to take a break from the norm we got here super late tulipata traffic i thought traffic in Akwanga, nairobi peke yake uh, but tulipata traffic and we got here at around 8 super tired watoto walikuwa wamechoka walikuwa na njaa because they were so excited over traveling and they didn't take anything along the way walikata so we got here at around 8 aki we were tired the only thing that we do we did was to prepare them something to take because they refused to to take food that we had bought and we went to bed so yeah we are here we are here and excited as much as we were tired at least for me i was able to wake up mapema around 4 30 nimefanya one two three i've already prepared breakfast i've already prepared something for them to eat uh, all of them are sleeping which is allowed because i'm very sure they are tired uh, yeah and today being a saturday i don't know what we will begin with but um <laughs> i've spoken to a number of my friends who've been here before honestly this is my first time here and um i'm i'm eagerly waiting to 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 experience to have my own experience with mombasa i've never by the i've never I've, I've never been here before so i'm excited to explore and to experience everything that i hear about mombasa that it is too hot that that what else that um that what else naskianga that uku watu ananga mbio mambo ni mosmos pole pole and all that and today being a saturday mm -hmm, i think what we will begin with is finding an activity for the kids at least waende wa enjoy na ccp the adults to enjoy and then from there to do what next but right now i can't really tell what time they will wake up i don't want to wake anyone at least to talk up by around 10 i think that would be we'll have an ample time to at least get time kuzunguka and all that but having spent less than maybe 10 hours from the time we got here uh one of the things or one of the experiences that i've already gotten is that this place is too hot where the minute we touched down ukunda like this like warmth yani you could just feel that ki warmth na we knew everything have changed na whether it may change completely from where we come from from where we come from uh whether ni baridi because it is central province nyeri the weather is friendly and chilly though right now the weather has changed all over na it's hot but you can imagine if nyeri is hot right now what about here it's double of what we we were experiencing down there but we thank god that we got here safely and we can't wait to take a break from the norm and all that and have a new experience so this there's someone in my previous video who texted and wanted to know if you are under pressure what you can do 
maybe to take care of yourself and all that. I will do a full video about that. But one of the things that I said, last year I went through a lot, uh, a lot that was draining me physically, emotionally, let me include spiritually. And one of the things that I was looking forward to is to take a break from work, to take a break from what I do every day, and to take a break from a number of things that I've been doing. And my focus was to go somewhere different, to find something different to do, and that is what I've done right now. Or that is what I'm doing right now. Uh, so that means taking care of yourself. Now, one thing that I've said in my previous videos, and I keep saying it, self-care is not selfish. Because one thing that I believe we cannot offer from an empty cup. We get to a point whereby you're giving service to society, you're giving back to, to your workplace, you are giving back to, to the church, you're taking care of your family as a mother, Sorry, you're taking care of your family as a dad, which is not easy. And it gets to a point whereby you feel you're exhausted, you're tired, and you need a break. If your system demands that, me encourage an individual to do that. You take a break, uh, and you can take a break in different ways, and we are different. And uh, we enjoy doing different things. Uh, me going to a gym would be totally different and I would enjoy that. Na kuna mtu mwingine who takes self who takes care of themselves na kwenda pale salon ama baba shop anaenda anakaa hapo anatengenezwa they feel good they feel relaxed and all that. So what I mean you can take some time off what you do every day and then engage yourself in something that you love and something that will make you feel much better about yourself and one of the things that works for me is to take a break and probably go somewhere with friends catch up of course uh positive friends who are bringing positive vibes in my life now i uh, okay i love surrounding myself with happy people so when you are in the midst of people who are happy to na cheka, to na catch up, to na kunywa ka coffee, that works for me. Anytime I leave that place after we've done that, I usually feel fresh, I usually feel uh, re-energized and having energy to carry on with life. So, so what you can do is to take a break from what you do every day and find an activity that at least will will make you appreciate yourself all will make you feel better about yourself but i will do a full video about stress and some coping mechanisms that you can uh, adopt to ease or to to make you feel much better when you're under pressure or stress so yes so what i'm doing right now i've taken a break and uh, i already feel good as much as to melala masaki dogo and i'm looking forward to today so those in mombasa kindly contact the friends that i have down here contact them to say dear where can we go we have an idea of two places that we want to go uh just to care around as we find out where those places are na tuone venye siku itakuwa um thank you very much uh for being here thank you very much for your support i don't take anything for granted this has been a journey it started like a joke i was so nervous at the first time when i started this but uh, right now and i said in my previous video i think this is what i want to to do so Stay tuned and uh, watch at one when you Saturday it at two it at peleka. Meanwhile, enjoy your Saturday for those who worship on Saturday. Um, to <laughs> yes, so thank you very much, guys, for watching. Mimi watch and the delay could chill up as I wait for the rest to uh, to wake up and then to one the sequel. Yes. 
Stay tuned. It was around 10 a.m. in the morning when everyone got prepared. And surprisingly, we thought that the place that we were to take the kids was a 10 minutes walk. When we got outside the apartment that we, we, we were living in, we were told that the World Water Waters Mombasa was around 45 minutes from Mtuapa. So we so th- that that meant that we were to take either a taxi or a tuk-tuk to that place. And we decided to take a tuk-tuk because it was too hot and as you can see um a tuk-tuk is well ventilated and all that. On the other hand, taxis in Mombasa are quite expensive. So this was more convenient for us. Yeah. We were finally here and the first thing that you see is the hotel over this side. The whole of this area is the restaurant whereby you can get refreshments. You can get food if you want to. And then on this other side, the front side, is now the water park. Kuna the water tunnel that are over there. Yinyinaka the tunnel. And then surrounded by beautiful palm trees. On this other side, kuna a, a swimming pool. And then there is a huge water slider they were different of them they were different tunnels and then on that other side the farthest kuna swimming pool ya watoto that was friendly ilikuwa na mipira za kucheza and some slides of course that were safe for the kids yeah this place is beautiful and for the three hours that we were here we really had some fun a lot of fun uh, and the thing that i loved about this place is the fact that it's good for the adults and uh, the babies so make sure to visit this place at least what to a chance here to slide before you you go to other activities so yes <laughs> Mombasa and we are having a good 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 time. Lakini huyu kijana anakataa ku swim. Hi baba. Sema hi. Hi baby. Kumasa na tuta mpos. Tu swim in tans. Crazy. Good. This boy over here, I've tried to take him for swimming to different places that are baby friendly. I've tried to to trick him to get into the water lakini hajawai kubali. And I thought since we are here, wacha tutoi uoga. Tulikuwa tuna slide na yeye, but he, bado alikuwa analia. So we had to get out of the water, go rest somewhere with him. Uh, at least a cool and we decided we won't force him what we will do we will swim in turns and uh, finally i don't know what came through his mind uh, i think ali aliona people are enjoying nothing bad is happening to them and pole pole too he decided to get in and uh, wow i was happy because this is something that i've always wanted since he was two Lakini I've not managed to do this. So yeah, Ali enjoy na I think Ali enjoy zaidi because sasa ilikuwa vita kumtoa kwa maji. So at least we had fun. All of us had fun. Mm? As you can see, unamuona huko. 
eh? at some point alikuwa anatoa the flota tunamrudisha eh? he became an expert On this other side I wanted them to do first <laughs> Nione the experience and then ni try so they really pressured me they really pressured me to do it and finally I was able to do one of them and it was not as bad as I thought yeah so it was a lifetime experience and I think I would come here again and again if I would get a chance to yeah so as you can see nilifika huko chini and yeah <laughs> at least when you alikuwa anani wanani motivate to do so we excited that finally i was able to